<clears throat> ah, wonderful. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. Combat zone. Clear. Continuing far past where I left off. <laughs> for Allie? No good reason. Oh God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Yep. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, mm -hmm. if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. <clears throat> when you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Uh, I'll describe the vault. Why not? It's a big, freezy place. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. There's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? <laughs> ah, the murder. My wife was... She was capped. Murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... <coughs> they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? Describe the kidnappers. Yeah! A man and a woman. They His name's Kellogg, like the cereal! But I remember they called me... The Backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? A bouncing baby boy! We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? would be taking on all of his care and a baby needs a lot of it well, that confirms it this isn't a random kidnapping whoever took your kid had an agenda hmm. there's a lot of groups in the commonwealth that take people raiders super mutants the gunners and of course there's the institute the institute well i know it wasn't super mutants but let's ask anyway wait Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. And the gunners? Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Mm-hmm. What about raiders? You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. And last but not least, which is most likely, and is the thing, the so Institute. Think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, 
where they are, not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. That's okay. You're a prototype? <laughs> as far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Cool. Let's continue onward. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Uh, let's see. Describe their outfits, why not? The woman was dressed in, um... I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? His gun! His freaking gun! The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it, but that sound. Could have been a large caliber revolver. Huh. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? Yeah, he was bald. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. <laughs> Scar across his left eye. <clears throat> Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Kellogg? Who's that? W who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. He's in town? What? You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but... You two should still be careful. I always am. Are you though? Really? God damn it. <whistles> okay. I'm going to take, or several, in this case. <coughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, just had to check my sound. It's still coming through. Alrighty, off to play detective. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Ah, wonderful, a phone call.
if you're wondering who called me, it was my grandma. She's got, um, was it dementia or Alzheimer's? I forgot. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The MO is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. <clears throat> this is a medium sized city. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't <laughs> you give it a try? Oh, okay. Master lock. Lock's really strong. Dude, I don't have the skill to pull that off yet. Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Uh, let me. Just get this done before I jump and possibly die from the fall damage. Read all about it. Can't skip types of people with machines. Are you next? Get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I'm Kellogg. trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had that kid. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Oh, joy. Can't you help, though? Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Uh, you have some caps. Maybe we can reach an agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. <laughs> Thank you. That was easy. I got impatient, so I jumped. Read the public and be prepared. Got too much dirt in that hair? Get it trapped. You won't regret it. Hey, swatter, 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 swatter. Sweet, swatter. Mm -hmm. It's an 
awful lot of birds there. Hey. Got the key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. Yay. Let's take a look around. <clears throat> Kellogg must have left something behind. Duct tape. I need that. Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Well, that's one way to hide a room. You first. <laughs> well, look at this. All of them are Gwinnett Stout beer. 44 caliber bullets and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Let's be sarcastic. What? The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. <laughs> if it's gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking <laughs> aside, but what about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man sent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Ah, eh, come with me. Why not? I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. <coughs> This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. No need for that. I'll just take a few things here. Hmm, yes. Do you have any more duct tape around here? No, but he has a mannequin. <laughs> hey, Tingo! Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Yay. I'm going to need a lot more damage for my pistol. It occurs to me, I don't need to have my gun out in town. My, but that's a nice looking turret. Not as ergonomic as the ones from, um, I forgot the name of the game. Eh, oh well. Portal. Just remembered. Portal. There, Nick's behind me. Good. Eventually arrive at something to shoot.
San Francisco Sunlights. Dog meat pick up the Kellogg's hand. preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Please don't go for a swim. Thank you. It exploded. Oh, someone should make use of it. All done, Nick, and dog meat. I'm looting. Where's the doggo? There you are. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Okay, boy, let's track him. I wonder who got bloody bandages. Just was it really Kellogg or someone else? This is running all over you. Well, that was fun. I think. What's in here? Are you gonna go anywhere or just stand there? I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Okay, you just stand there. I'll go down the stairs. Needs found something. You know the drill. Um. Sure. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, yeah. Are you... There we go. I broke you for... What? Teleporting dog? A decoy, huh? Clever.
teleport again, and I'm dismissing you. You're hounding for a green suntan. I suggest we get a move on. <laughs> Good one, Nick. Good one. Bleh. Alert. Damn. Critical signs. Alert. Party Critical <laughs> signs. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. Uh, yeah, you show that little fluffy teddy bear Tracking who's boss. Known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. That's because you don't have any legs. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Mm hmm <clears throat> I need duct tape. For the adhesive. You have to go up this hill. I guess so. think boy was this our man oh come on that guy isn't gonna sniff himself out or will he Fly corpses are notorious for rolling around everywhere where you can't find them. Maybe they just ignore the one of the common rules of physics known as friction.
Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. <laughs> you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Everything okay, boy? Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. Sad whipper. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, now uh, see what I can do. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around here and try and find where to go up. Oh, how fortuitous. There it is. <sighs> Give me a moment. Okay, I'm calling it there and I'm going to take a break. Till next time, see ya.